McGraw, first lieutenant. Going direction. Hold on by one. Watch all road. Watch all road. Watch all road. Halt! Advance. What's your name? Scorer. Where are you going? Oldenburg. Papers? They're sending them on. Who? The hospital. Just been discharged. What regiment? Grenadiers number 12. Why aren't you in uniform? If you want to know them, that's why. Look out, look out. I've done my bit, mate. Sending your papers? Mm hmm. Why didn't they give them to you? Medical records all cockeyed as usual. Captain wait until this time of night, then tell me I ought to be in bed, or I'd lose both legs. Just like them. Ten miles to walk. Couldn't even give me a sidecar. Well, what am I to do? Go on. Push off. You mean it? Go on. Thanks. Don't say I saw it. Right. Night, mate. Good night. Stop him. Had the stuff going to the prison camp at Londorf? Yes, sir, for Lieutenant McGrath. He made three attempts to get away already, hasn't he? Yes, sir. Got pinched each time. Lucky devil. This is his fourth go, so we are doing the best we can for him. These are the things he asked for. One, civilian suit disguised as a uniform. Oh. Yes, sir. I pity Jenny when he tries to check up in that uniform. <laughs> Fred Carno's army. <laughs> Amazing what an ingenious chap can do with pinpricks in a letter, asking for prisoner of war comforts. Dear Aunt Maud, that's me. <laughs> Do be a duck and send me number two money. As much as you can spare. Thinks I really am his aunt. Wash and brush up, 200 marks. 200 marks is mixed up in the soap. Thought of that myself, boys. If he's relying on bribing the prison guard, he's done for. You know that, King. Rather, well, pocket your little Christmas box, then ask for a transfer <laughs> or a you for bribery. Three, files and wire cutters. Here they are. A bit afraid of this one, false bottom. Very old trick. It worked when he got away last time. Well, that was heart scam, not Lawndorf. No, by Jove. If they catch him trying to get out of Lawndorf, he's for it. Look at McGrath. Lazy devil, always asleep. He's got to sleep sometime. He works all night. Yes, I know. And if he tries any of his escaping stunts at Lawndorf, he'll get us all shot. He'll get the wind up. The old man's got rather a soft spot for him. He's blimey, I suppose. Yes, he's got that type of lower schoolboy humor that would appeal to that silly old hun. Why do you come to this place every time when I'm on duty? You're a delightful conversation. Oh, don't talk. All right. I'll go to sleep. How would you like to be on that train, Cosmo? Going home to Poland. Shh. It's going to Berlin. Is it? I've got rich friends in Poland. They do a lot for any friend of mine after the war. Are you going back? No money after the war. Want to? Yeah. Kastner, what would you do if you saw a prisoner trying to escape because he was longing to go home? Shoot him. Even if he'd pay well? Oh, you were always talking like this. It's not safe.
have 50 marks now. Right. What I ask you. And another 50 marks. Soldiers don't get 100 marks for nothing. All right, if you don't want it, there's another guard who does. Who? No. You don't trust me, so I won't trust you. You give me this money. All right. But there's nothing I can do. Oh, yes, there is. I can't bring anything into the camp. They search me. Listen. See that window? In the wash house? Hmm. When are you on guard up there? Tomorrow night. Good. Tomorrow night, there's a hundred marks if you go deaf. <laughs> That's mine. Oh, sorry. Raw material. <laughs> Where'd you get the rope? Stores. Got to return it. Try and finish a bit. How much? Mm. Twenty-five feet. I don't. Roll call, gentlemen. 17 French officers, sir. 3 Belgian officers, sir. 12 British officers, sir. Look, sir. That's a dummy. Bring it here. <laughs> Twice before you have tried to make me think you were absent at roll call. Another time I will not allow you to pull my leg. You colonials have no discipline. You are not sober-minded. Eleven Russian officers, sir. He's fixed the sentry. What cost on earth? Yes. I don't trust that blighter. Quiet. See, I pay. Pay nothing. I didn't know you were here. Get 700 marks for your next job. It's nothing to do but look the other way. No, no more. Listen, when's your turn for night duty at the Palisade? Tomorrow. Good. Tomorrow I'll see you, but you won't see me. Agreed? No. 700 marks. Now? No. The moment I'm through the wires. I should make a complaint. They're too late. If they catch me, they'll just shut me in cells. But if they find out now you've taken money, go on. It's money for jam. Tomorrow night. Already. Oh, I say, <gasps> look out for that bloke, Costner. Shh! Shut up! Listen, when I'm down, go back in a bunch, quickly. The sentry may think I've slipped down the plug hole. <laughs> <laughs> First ten years are the worst. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Why were you pointing that at me? Hurry, hurry. We'll be caught. Hurry. Run. Hmm? I see. That is what you were up to. Shut my mouth and clear yourself. There's a law, don't forget. Even in the army. Orders are challenge. If he runs, shoot. I'm not running. 
If you shoot from there, they'll know I wasn't running. My clothes, my clothes, they'll be burnt in front. Then you'll be for it. No, no that, that's not good to either of us. Here. Look here. Here's another 25 marks. Is that all you've got? Two or three more. In here. First Berlin. Out of your beds. Roll call. 17 French officers, sir. Correct, sir. Three Belgian officers, sir. Three, sir. 12 British officers, sir. Look, sir. Again. Didn't I tell you that the next time you... Sergeant, tomorrow morning, the cells. Seven Russian officers, sir. Seven? What are the other four? In the wash house, I think. Good sport. That's just given them a start. That's the Lord of pri Prison Camp. Prison Camp? <laughs> Looks more like an hotel, doesn't it? They treat them better than our own men. The English pigs, pigs. That's what I say. Hmm? What do you say? Oh, I agree. Hello? Lost a leg? No. Found one. Where? In a hospital. Yes, but, but where did you lose it? Just about there. No, no, no. I mean whereabouts. Oh, fashion bed. What regiment were you in? Machine guns. Then you must know my son, Otto Schultz. He was in machine guns. But of course, Schultz. Imagine it. He knows my son. Here, I've, I've got his picture somewhere with all his brother officers. I expect you're in it, too. There he is. Don't you remember him? Of course I do. Yes, there he is, with a little fair moustache. Fair. Mossy. Brown. Let me see. It's black. He's standing with his back to the light. He was tall. Fish. Which one do you mean? You're looking at the wrong man. Oh, no, I remember him perfectly. He had the Iron Cross. That's right. Fine, handsome chap. I knew you at once from the likeness. You did? He knew me at once from the likeness. My card. Maximilian Fritz Otto Schultz. Burgermaster Dinkelsdorf. 
here, I... I don't see you in this picture. No, you wouldn't. Why? Why? Yes, why? I took it. Would you believe it? He took it. Yeah, we mustn't lose sight of each other when we get to Berlin. Mm. Guards, maybe on this train. Any description? Not yet. I just got information. Hang about. Tell the girls to keep their eyes open. Except your little golden-haired Anna, I suppose. That's right. You're a fool about that girl. She'll hmm? land you in the soup someday. Listen, you just do your job. If you come across anyone suspicious, report at once. Right. You know Bali, a little great place. You stick to me. I'll take you where you want to go. <laughs> Watch the subway. Stop all foreigners. You stop here. Watch the other barrier. Show me all on the tickets. Yes. I always run up to Berlin every Christmas. War or no war. Keeps you young. <laughs> I've left my umbrella. Wait for me. Come on, women can all pass through. All men wait. All men wait. All men wait. You pass through. Have you got any papers? All men wait. All men wait. All men wait. Where from? Have you got any papers? On the women can pass through. All men wait. All men wait. Why, what's the matter? Have you got any papers? Something slipped. I'll help you. You stick to me. Hi. Wait for me. Londo? Yes. Name? Erha. Well, I've got them somewhere. Sorry. See, I'm not long out of the hospital. What's the trouble? Please, the trouble is our affair. I know this man well. He's lost one leg fighting for the fatherland, and now you keep him hanging about on the other. Please, mind your own business. I am Burgermaster Maximilian Fitzschultz. This is my house at Dinkelsdorf. My little sister, she's meeting me. Surely the word of a Burgermaster is good enough, isn't it? Isn't it? If not, you send for your superintendent and he'll show you. This man has been fighting while you've been... What's the matter? Can you come, sir? Foreigner, from Londo. No ticket. Maybe him. Oh. Um, uh, very well, Herr Berger. Uh, just a moment. Come on. Continue, everybody. Continue. You come with me before they think of more foolery. Yes, but, sir... You heard what the hair detective said? Very well. Is not that enough? Very well. They must keep their jobs or they lose their money. Always looking for something, never in the right place. But you stay by me, and I will see you right. I... Maximilian! Ah, my little poor sister! Oh, Amelia! Oh, Greta, yes. And my great friend, Lieutenant Eric Earhart, he come to stay with us. someone to adopt you. Would you like me to show you around? I'm... Ah, oh, come on. Buy me a drink. I'd like to, but... Please. What? You're trembling. I will. No, it's just... The... I know. Some coffee. It'll do you good. I really have to be getting along. Oh, aren't I attractive? Most of them would be flattered. I'm afraid you'll find me very poor company. I'll take it, John. We'll go there and you can sit down and rest. You don't have to pay any attention to me if you don't want to. <laughs> Send from 1922. Wrong number! Ah, oh, good evening, Fräulein. Hello, Hans. Coffee and cognac for two. There. Now, isn't this a nice place? It's decent warm in here. Quiet and 
You don't have to talk if you don't want to. It's been so long since I've talked to a woman, I've almost forgotten. Now, I'm very glad I met you. I was getting kind of lonely. Weren't you waiting for someone? Well, half. Herr Geltz, he's a big man. I mean, uh, he's got a big job at headquarters. You don't mean that man who was stopping us at the barrier? What's the matter? Nothing. Nerves. Tell me about yourself. Friends here? No. On leave? It's charged. My leg. Whom do I pay? What's the matter? My money. It's gone. Oh. But all of it. Two hundred marks. Wouldn't pay for the war, would it? I can't pay for the drinks. And I've got to go farther. Don't look as though the end of the world had come. See that man over there? He's a very good friend of mine. He gives me all the credit I want. That's the reason I eat here so often. I'll fix it. It's not that I'm worrying about. I haven't any money at all. I'm stranded. If you're half as nice as you look, I might let you see me home if you'd like. Oh, there's nothing I'd like better, of course, but... But you don't like me. You haven't even asked my name. What is it? Anna. Hans. Let's go, shall we? But I can't come home with you. I'm sorry. Where can you go? Konigsberg. There's no train. I have friends there. Well, you haven't any money. I'll have to telephone or something. You'll have to walk. Hans, I... Good night. Good night. Going for a short stroll, Hans. Fifty miles. He'll be here when he comes back. <laughs> but I want to go with him. Oh, bother. It's raining. Oh, hello. I thought you'd be halfway to Königsberg by this time. Have you bought a walk? Far enough to ruin my coat. Isn't it a beauty? Mm -hmm. It costs 500 marks. I know. I'll leave it here. You'll get drenched. Well, I'd rather get drenched than ruin my coat. I'll leave it with hands. You'll wait, won't you? Here, hold these. Hands. Hands, keep this for me, will you, Granny? Yes, sir. I am not the man. I am not the man. I think it's a tell you. Come on. I will not come. I will not come. I am not the man. I have lose my ticket. I have done nothing. You don't let me go. Oh. Take me home, please. Here. Good night, Fraulein. Good night, Hans. You'd better have this. Well, what'll you do? I'll be all right. long pull for that leg of yours. But there's my flat there. Only a few more steps. Not nice. Look. No, no, not at me. My flat. Fine. You must take off your wet coat. Make yourself at home. Yeah. A bathroom with real hot water. Wonderful. Kitchen. 
Very few girls in Berlin have a kitchen. My friend Hans gave me this. He says it is some of his very best. Yes. It's pretty, no? Silk. All through. You know, I... I don't, as a rule, speak to men. I'm sure of that. Aren't you going to take your wet coat off? Well, aren't you going to take your wet shoes off? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you won't believe me, but I'm, I'm really very shy. Would you like to know why I spoke to you? Yes. Well, because you look so like a lost child. I had been watching you for a very long time. It was two hours ago, I didn't even know you were in the world. You're very sentimental. I like men who are sentimental. Oh, you're great. Put these on. Change in there if you like. And there's a lock on the door if you're shy. Name? McGrath. Canadian. Speaks perfect German. Hmm? Return ticket? No money. Go on description. Tall, fair, scarred left cheek. Go with signet ring on the right hand. Uh -huh. All right. Not him. Let him go. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Nix. Why did this have to happen to me? Just now of all times. What? That I should feel so at peace with you. Oh, I was hoping you'd say so much in love with me. <laughs> Loving you would make things worse than ever. I wouldn't want to leave you. But I must. Isn't that dry yet? I have to think about going. It's too rainy. Yes, very hard. And you have no money. No, I won't let you go. Oh, Anna, I'm... You can keep quite peacefully here. Think about going in the morning. I shan't disturb you. around like a poor lion in a cage. You're lovely. I'm very glad you discovered that at last. I've got to get the early train out of Berlin and I've got to get some money. I'm very bored talking about money. See what we can do about it in the morning. Big. What time are the newspapers out? What does that matter? Nothing matters. Nothing matters. That's right. Nothing. Everything. Everything. Your ration card, Fraulein. You're late today, aren't you? Why, no, it's just 10 o'clock. Come along, sleepyhead. Hmm? Look what I brought you. You. You're still here. Where did you think I should be? I thought I might have dreamed. Oh, thanks. Darling. Hmm. You 
are German, aren't you? Don't mind looking. You look sweet, but not a bit German. Of course I'm German, but I speak English. Fluently, or... Let me look at you. Are you glad I was not a green? Oh. But not the kind that fades when you wake. No, thank you. I'm not going to let you finish. Hmm. I want to remember everything about you distinctly now, so that I can still see you if... if... But, darling, don't look so sad. You speak as though we were never going to see each other again. Tell us, Becker's not far. You can come back to Berlin. Of course. I shall be right here. It will be your own wish if you keep away. Anna, if I keep away, it won't be my own wish. Mm -hmm. Just as it's not my own wish to leave you now. But I must. And I've got to have that money. Ah, but I have some. What are you talking about? I can't take money from you. Oh, dear. Only 35 marks. Johnny I shall have to borrow some. I can't let you do that. Then I shall have to find some other way. What other way? What other way? To get it. Listen. In a few hours, you make me love you. Yes, it's true. And then you suggest. Only wanted to help. Do you? Do you mean that you really love? No. I mustn't believe. I may not see you. You may hear somehow that I'm dead. No. If you do, will you remember that I meant and mean everything I said? You couldn't look like that and lie, could you, when we're with each other again? God knows. Mm -hmm. Nobody must ever find out I've been here. For your sake. But why? I'm proud of it. This is dry. These are dry. This needs more air. Get a paper. Don't read just when we're going to say goodbye. What's the matter? Are you... Are you in trouble? Yes. With the police? Yes. Why didn't you tell me? I shouldn't have come here at all. Is the trouble bad? Yes. I was dragged into it. Then what you told me was not true. Only partly. Oh, tell me about it. I might help. No. No, you couldn't. Even if I didn't love him, I'd want to help any man who had been wounded like you and... Your leg. That was a lie, too. Goodbye. Like your man. 
My country. Which country? Um. I was blood. Ah! Dr. here, Anna, listen. It wasn't murder we were fighting. Anna, listen, then I'll give myself up, I swear. It wasn't murder we were fighting. Call them if you want to. Hmm. Whoever I am, whatever I've done, I love you beyond everything. you said. Whatever you've done, you can't go until... Well, until something's done about your hair. It's Grace not doing this for you. We're at war. I hated not telling you the truth, but... Yes, Bill. Lies. Nothing but lies you told me. Except that I love you. You hit me. You made me bump my head. Anna, I didn't know I heard. Did you... Did you think that German girls had heads of wood? Oh, no. No, you're trying to make a trade of me. I shall do your hair and turn you out. No one comes here at this hour of the morning. Shh, stay here. Who's there? Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, Herr Gert. Hi. I was just going to have my... I was just going to have my bath. You must have guessed. I'm here in business. Uh, may I come in? Of course. Won't you sit... Won't you sit down? Thanks. Uh, will you have a drink? No, thanks. Business. With me? This man you brought home last night. Have you seen him again? No. English murder had escaped. Yes, yes, I read all about it in the papers. I have since learned that he was seen last night by a woman at a window, running from Londorf camp. She failed to report it. Perhaps, perhaps she didn't know he was trying to escape. A man climbing palings right next to a prison camp. Well, maybe she was afraid to report it. A coward's no better than a traitor in wartime. And what's the matter? <laughs> well, don't you feel well? It's, it's so warm. <laughs> No, wait, I'll, I'll get you. Thank you. Better? Good. Now listen. I came to tell you, uh, I want you to help me. A policeman saw a man with a wooden leg in the same street at about the same time. He must have seen the murder too. Why? Why come to me? Well, he might be the same you brought back last night. That man got on the train at Londres and that man had a wooden leg. Why didn't he come forward with information? He must have read about the crime by now, it's all in the papers. I'll swear he's got some reason for keeping out of the way. Do you know where he went? No. He came in for shelter. He left immediately. In that rain? Yep. You don't believe me. Well, if you say so, I have to. Didn't he say anything which might help me to trace him? No. Oh, I've never been mixed up in anything like this. Why don't you let me take you out of it all? You know, one day you'll find yourself in... Well, I'm not going to frighten you into being nice to me. I only thought you might like to help me. Well, I would. And you're very good, Herr... Herr Gerst. Not a bit. I mean, you know, I'd try to do a lot for you, if you'd let me. I know you would. You... I think you're the, the best friend I have in Berlin here, Gerd. That's so? Well, then, if you do remember something, give me a ring to headquarters. Put your thinking cap on. I don't see a lot of you these days. Sometimes I think you try to avoid me. No, oh, what nonsense, Herr Gerst. 
Well, then, what about some supper? Mm. Oh, come on. Have a bite of supper with me tonight. Meet me at Hunt's place at about six. Hmm? We'll go somewhere cozy and private. Just us two. Hmm? All right. Anything you say. Now that's better. I'd like to see you in another place than this. <laughs> Nearer to me. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. You can't go now. Not till he's cleared off. Not even then. But I must. Darling, don't you see? As the one-legged man, I'm in as much danger as the escaped prisoner. So are you. He's very deep. I don't know how much he suspects. If I could only talk to him... And if, if he I tumbles don't... to what you're up to, what then? No. No, I won't have you go. Not with him. Just to hand this place, nowhere else. And I can find out if it's safe for you to leave and come home to you. There'd be no need for you to have anything to do with him at all if I were here. Where are the rest of my things? I'm clearing off. No, wait. Please. You... You couldn't plead ignorance now. They'd half kill you. Your description will be everywhere. I won't let you. You'll never get out of Berlin. I'll risk it. Oh, I won't go with guests if that's what's worrying you. But wait. Just till it's dark. You need a rest anyway. Rest? Rest? Yes, rest. And a clear head if you're going to dodge them. Well, if something went wrong, I... I wouldn't see you again. Please. For my sake while I'm out. Out? With Gitz? Why didn't I tell you I wasn't going with Gert? It'd be like throwing you into his arms to save myself. Dearest, listen. You asked me to believe you once, now I'm going to ask you to believe me. I'm yours. No matter what happens, only yours in every way. You do believe that, don't you? You couldn't look like that and lie, could you? I swear it. That's right. Now you stay here, and I'm going out for a walk and plan. Plan a safe way to food. I have nothing in. I'll get you some more coffee. You stay here, rest, and do exactly as you're told until I come back. I may be gone when you get back. You won't be able to go. I shall cast a spell over you. Anna. Where do you come from? Bavaria. My father was a forester on a big estate there. I was a lady's maid. But my mistress found I was too pretty, so I had to come to Berlin. Alphabet biscuits for lunch, that's all I've got. You'll have to eat and not. I wouldn't mind. Now, I won't kiss you until you've had your coffee. Come along, lie down. Anna. How long have you been in Berlin? Oh, several years. I was getting along all right till the war came along. Then my father died, and you know the old story about a large family. Someone had to help. And now you're doing everything for me. I don't know whether to be ashamed or proud. Neither. Happy. Just happy. Now I told you I wouldn't kiss you till you had your coffee. Isn't it strange? You're the hated enemy. And here I am, kneeling beside you. Yesterday, if you'd been shot, I might have laughed. But today, when you were behind that door, I think I died a little of fear. For you. Is that love? Somewhere carefully, Hans. It's of no value. 
Very precious. Trust me, Anna. Here. Ah. You did take nice care of her. Ah. I wish the Fräulein... Oh. Anna! You've come splendid. And didn't you expect me? Well, when you are dealing with women, never expect anything. <laughs> Hope for the best. <laughs> Wine. I'd have a lot of strong coffee if I were you. Yes, I know, I know. Why? I've been saying goodbye with friends. Goodbye? You're going away? Yes. On leave. I'm being sent on leave. Christmas leave, they say. But I know. I'm in disgrace. <laughs> disgrace, Herr Gare? Yes. To me. For letting an important witness slip through my fingers. Your friend, Anna, Mr. Dot and carry one. But what was I to do? You can't arrest the Burgomaster's friend, even if the Burgomaster is drunk. The Burgomaster can do a man a great deal of harm. You know what I think? I said it before. Mr. Woodenstamp could tell us something about the murder. I can't prove it yet, but... There are too many people. Listen, let's go. Anna, let's go to your place. Hmm? Now? Of course now. Tomorrow morning I have to go to my sister near Brain, early. Oh, no, I can't come with you tonight. You are not coming with me. I'm coming with you. No. Oh, please. We'll take a bottle of wine with us. Make it a little farewell party. Oh, hell yes. You always find out people's secrets, don't you? I'll tell you why we can't go. I'm expecting someone. Very jealous. Why? He doesn't mean anything to you, does he? No, but I... Never trust a jealous man. Come on, tell him you've got me to turn to. Come on, I tell him myself. Uh, no, uh, I have some shopping to do. You promised to come with me. I'm not too drunk to forget that. Yes, but I didn't know he was coming oh, when I said Oh, you're lying. That... No, I'm not. You're putting me off. But you'll do it once too often. Oh, go to. Wait. Yeah, two pounds. Keep your voice down. Who said so? How much? Twenty marks. For twenty marks for two pounds of butter? Well, I'm not in this game for fun. If it weren't for the blockade, you'd be in prison, you... What for? You know what for. You crook. He'd like to get his claws into me. Why? You're not a crook, are you? No, 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 Fräulein. A patriot. Well, sometimes the same. <laughs> good, good. I just serve the fatherland in my own way. You mean you serve butter, don't you? How do you get it? At the risk of my skin, across the frontier. Oh. Smuggling. You must be very brave, Herr Muller. Well, of course, the frontier's dangerous, but it's moving freely in this country that's the devil. Unless you're in uniform. You can go anywhere you like in uniform. Do they shoot? What, the frontier guards? I should say so. They're not so bad if they know you're dealing only in butter. Butter doesn't talk. Men do. Men? You sometimes smuggle? Don't ask questions. What do you want? My farewell party. But I told you, you can't come in. I told you that you ah, could... Jealous, is he? I'll... Open the door. Shh, be quiet. A bottle of wine here's no fun. If you want a party, let's, let's go somewhere where we can dance. No, here I am, and here I'll stop. But this other man I told you about. I'm really frightened of him. He's late. Let him call his heels. You go and get a taxi. Good. I'll just leave these. Oh, you'll give me the slip, will you? Give me the key. No. Come on, Don't be so rough, Herr Open the door. No. Come on, give me the key. Please. No. Not tonight. Tomorrow night, when he's not here. No, tonight. Tomorrow I shan't be here. Tonight. I'm celebrating like a gentleman, with you. All right. Let's celebrate. 
Come on. Anna. 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 Ah, you've come back. Mine, you said you were. In every way. Didn't you? I am. Why didn't you let me go while I was still a man? What am I now? My one excuse was loving you. But I love you too. Is that why you left me? Drugged? Why you took away my clothes? You locked that door. Why? To make sure they'd catch me? Terrified you'd go. I wish I had. I don't know how I lived through the night. I heard you out there. Why didn't you let him come in? At least I'd have had a chance of killing him. Do you realize what it's been like for me to sit here hour after hour, realizing that everything had gone, everything, love, pride, self-respect, everything? Stop it, you fool! Look at me! I was trying to save you. Oh, where's he gone, the man I love? Um, I must have been mad. Forgive me. I didn't know what love could mean until now. Come here. I want you to look at the sky. I want you to feel that there's nothing now between us and God. I want you to marry me. Will you? No. Yes. Now. I call God to witness that I marry you here. With this ring. It's more than possible. It's happening. Oh. This is either a great childishness, or else it is very wicked. God is not concerned with people like me. I tell you, he's in this room. Do you take me for your husband as I take you for my wife? Do you? I do. Too risky, Fräulein. But I have business to do there. In Holland? What business? I told you. Business for... for Gerd. That's the reason he pretended to quarrel with me last night. So I could be left alone with you. The butter was only a trick. It's not as slippery as Gerd's. Your friend. I don't trust anyone but you. See in the smuggling business, too? Ever since the war started. Will he smuggle passports? He smuggled brimstone into heaven. Words only that is my bar to be them. What'd he say? He said it would amuse him to know how much the service is worth. You told me he didn't understand German. Not in Germany. Well, ask him how much would be needed. What next? 400 marks. 400 marks. Four hundred. That's his price. Come on. 
Tell him I'll bring it to him somehow. Not now. The other end. Aachen. North. Oristorich. A village about four miles from Aachen. Three ways in. Just outside Oristorich. One goes to the side door, knocks, and says 10663. 10663. When? Morning. Tomorrow night. Morning train, Berlin to Aachen. 10.15. 10.15. Keep your mouth shut, talks the devil. at headquarters, Johan. They've been engaged now for... How long is it, lovey? <laughs> you've got to be pretty smart to get a job at headquarters. Uh, yes, and you've got to be up early to get a start on Max Weber. Only once in my life have I been caught napping that I can remember. Eight or nine months ago, there was an escape from the Hearts prison camp. We'd all been told off to watch the roads. When suddenly, footsteps. A man. Halt. You're up to no good. Is that the way to treat a man? He says who's fought for his country. And then he says, I've just come out of hospital. And if you want to know why I haven't got a uniform, I'll tell you. I've got a wooden leg. <laughs> what? Who's got a wooden leg? He's got a wooden leg. Is that true? True? Why, I, I gave it to the dad here for his war museum. Yes, <laughs> There it is. That was his wooden leg. <laughs> it wasn't wood. <laughs> you made no report. And get shot for letting him pass, not me. <laughs> you fool. What? If you'd done your duty, that I've had a record of this wooden leg business. Because of you, you fool, I'd let him slip. Who? Well, the man who murdered Costner. What are you doing? Cremating Hugh McGrath. What are you doing? Creating Anna McGrath. Come and kiss her. You know, you'll have to obey me now. Now I know why you worked out the plan. Yes. Aren't I clever? Anna's terribly, terribly clever. She even bought you a uniform that fits. How did you guess? I was guided by an angel. Oh, you're too brave. Soldier's wife, a gallant, very good looking German soldier's wife. Yes. Yes, these may help us to the frontier, but what then? And we're not out of Berlin yet. They'll be on the lookout for us. No, not for us. For Anna. And a man with a wooden leg. But you'll be a blind soldier out with your nerves. Dearest, someone may recognize you. Not in these. might recognize us, but he's miles and miles away. Who could that? Sorry to disturb the Fräulein so early. What is it you want? It's six o'clock in the morning. The Fräulein is leaving Berlin? No, just moving to a new flat. May one know where? Five Heidelberg Alley. Herr Gers telephoned before he left Bremen. Left? He wanted to know at once if a certain man had molested a Fräulein again, a man with a wooden leg. No. Some clue he has picked up. He's not been back, this man? No. You're certain? Certain. What's in there? This door's locked. I always keep it locked because Unlock I... Unlock it. What do you mean by just turning me at this hour? I come back from the front, visit this lady, and you come pushing your nose in. It's an insult. My orders, Lieutenant. Captain, orders? Orders from whom? Detective Gertz, Captain. Urgent. He'll be here himself. This lady me. needs no police protection while I'm with her. Is that clear? Or must I come to headquarters and say it? I'll make it hot for you if I do? No, Captain. I'm sorry. Get out. Very good, Lieutenant. Captain! Oh, Captain! I hope the Lieutenant... Uh, Captain uh, will not... Uh, Will you get out? Very good, Lieutenant. Good. In Berlin. That settles it. It's now or never. The train leaves at 10.15. What'll we do till then? We'll just have to keep in the streets till this time. I'll be afraid with you. 
If we do get you into Holland, you've no passport. How am I going to hide you? In a little box. Care. Oh, you darling. Oh, if we could only get over the border, we could be married. They couldn't send me back then, could they? They could have they knew you were German. I'll be very standoffish. I refuse to speak to strangers. Then they'd be sure to think I was English. <laughs> get your things. I've hidden yours in the cupboard. The station's the place I'm afraid of. The station will be crowded. They may not notice us. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> A strange Christmas. A happy Christmas. Ready? Ready. You sure you're not frightened? Mm. Wish you could take the fur coat. Can't you? No, it's on the room here. Darling, your glasses. Like you without a mustache. <laughs> Come on, I'll leave you. Stick. I wonder who lived here next. And if they'll ever find the love we found. They won't, because we're going to take it with us, every bit of it. Stop, I expect. Have you checked her new address? Huh? No, sir, not yet. Then go do it now. Come back here. <coughs> what do you want? I've come for this stuff. Who's? The Fräuleins. What? But I paid her a fair price for it, poor child. You're taking it, get out. What have you got here? The coat. I brought it back. Forty-five marks I paid her for 45 it. Forty-five marks? Forty-five marks, but it's full of... Please. It's got the moth in it. Take your stuff and get out. But the coat. Thirty marks and you can have it. Take yourself off and your stuff. Get out! Not at that address, it's a piece of waste ground. Look here. Enemy Karat. He's got her. But what? It was him. Here? McGrath? Well, don't you see? They wouldn't like men is McGrath. He'll use her to cover his tracks. Muller. Headquarters had every train in the country searched. McGrath. Maybe a woman. Where's Detective Girth? In his office. Give me clothes. The girl is fair. Costner's murder on the female. Watch all trains. Where are they making for? I don't know. Where are they going? I don't know, I tell you. You do. You are in it too. She swore it was your Leave brother. Leave You'll tell me and if I have to. Where are they going? Arkham. Frontier. Get me Arkham Station. Go on. Three ways in. Rich, rich. Six and sixty-three. Why did don't you? Don't worry. If they won't take you, they don't take me. What's she doing this lady here? Too. Got the money. Yeah. Come on. Take this one. Only one at a time. See. on the outside. Looks innocent, Savvy. How long do we wait? Can't tell. Once you start, you're across quickly. You can watch the house from here. Any danger? 
this roof in from the yard. It's an easy drop in case. See that light? Dutch guardhouse just over the border. What's between? Rough going. Patrols? Germans, yes. They know us. Wire? No, dogs. Watch your step. Yeah. Deserting with her, eh? She's my wife. Don't blame him, bright eyes. I do the same. This bar fits in here. Who'll come for us? Van Rossen. Very slick. He'll put you over 50 paces. Man got shot last night going over the border. Pleasant dreams. Isn't it frightfully cold? No, I don't want it. Yes, you must, sweet. I've got to pay you back somehow. Would you really like to pay me back? It's all I'd like. Go to Berlin and fetch my fur coat. You dare me? I wouldn't have parted with that fur coat for any other man in the world. <laughs> With heels? How are you going to run in those? I won't. You'll have to carry me. <laughs> Poor old Gertz. Yes? I'm at Aachen Station. Coming now. The man's dangerous. Shoot on sight. But uh, don't harm the girl. How far is Richter? Four miles. No shooting till the girl's safe. Understand? And pump him as full as you like. Come on. Where's Van Rossen? Isn't he coming? He thinks the frontier's been warned. Well, we've got to risk it. He says he won't. Too many guards about. He's out there now pretending to look for a stray bullock. There's some copy for you. Look here, who could have warned the frontier? It isn't possible. Don't worry, darling. It may be all right. Listen. Keep a good lookout. Mr. Landlord. Come on, where are they? What do you mean? There's no use pretending we know they're here. I tell you, we've had no strangers here till you came. Watch them. Upstairs. Around the back. There's a big reward. It's McGrath we're after. Here. Listen. McGrath. If they find him, we're finished. Let's get rid of him. Quick. Sir! Sir! Here! Sir! Sir! The police! Get away! Quick! Open! Look out! Guards! Stop shooting! Stop shooting, I tell you! The bar! Keep away. Stop! She's here! Stop shooting! Anna! Anna! Anna. Anna. We'll get into the border, then drop him. Where is she? Anna. Come on, we haven't far to go. I've left her. I've got to go back. They'll blow you to bits. She can come any safer. Let go. No. No. Anna. Anna. Where is he? Anna. He said he'd never leave me. Anna. Where is he? Oh. 
You said you wouldn't leave me. Stand up. Get clear of her. Darling, I'm not afraid. With you. Take her out of it. Get out. This way, quick. Which way have they gone? I don't know. Which way have they gone? The frontier. Seagram.